Abdullah and my partner is so so. We will talk today about Jackass disease. In, this part, in the first part of this presentation, I will describe Jackass and I will talk about symptoms of this disease. Also, I will uh, give some prognosis of uh, a patient. Okay, Carlos Jacquez was a Brazilian uh, epidemiologist who described the disease on 1909. Also, Dr. Uh, Dr. Dr. Jacquez um, started to analyze the relationship between monkeys and pugs. Okay, uh, the parasite, what's the parasite of this disease? The parasite is um, a unicellular organism with animal behavior, such as a protozoa. A Trobanosoma cruzi is a name of um, is a name of a protozoa um, which caused the this, this disease. Okay, uh, the vector is a bug member of uh, Tritamini family, which. Uh, which well known as like uh, kissing bugs, uh, which feeds on animals' blood and humans too. Okay, uh, this disease, um, this vector can be found in in everywhere everywhere in this world, but actually in America. Uh, okay, uh, the Jackass disease result deaths uh, to over 125,000 uh, people per a year and mostly in Central and South America. A few cases found in North America and uh, Europe. Okay, this disease uh, affects poor uh, to poor people and also um, they, the, these people the, don't realize that uh, they have this disease. Okay, uh, when the parasite affect the uh, in, uh, bite the human, the per the bug give gives uh, his uh, victim material to uh, to the human, and the human gives blood to uh, the bug. The victim material is uh, maybe may, maybe could uh, uh, be polluted with the. In this part, I will talk about uh, <laughs> symptoms of this uh, disease. Uh, uh, when the person became contaminated, uh, the disease developed in two stages. The first one is acute stage, which is on shortly time after contamination. And the other one is uh, the chronic stage, which is develop, uh, which develop over many years. Okay, the acute stage uh, takes for, uh, for, uh, for fir the first few weeks uh, or months of infection. This includes uh, include fever, fatigue, diarrhea, uh, muscles pain, uh, body axes, and the loss of a few teeth. Okay, uh, the signs of on uh, physical examination can include uh, redness on, at the skin where the parasite uh, enters the body and the swelling. Okay, the, the, uh, the other stage, which is the chronic stage, uh, is like uh, for unknown reason uh, right now, but uh, less than 10% of the patients uh, it, it, it develop. It will develop uh, from acute stage to uh, to a chronic stage, and 20 to 40 percent of them will threaten their heart and digestive the disorders uh, during their lifetime, and uh, the uh, the majority of them, like uh, 60 to 80 percent. Will uh, d uh, will never stop. Uh, will uh, will never s uh, develop their uh, symptoms. Jackass disease has no cure or vaccine, so this disease can lead to death. Most of the, uh, the contaminated patient um, maybe ha maybe they will have a normal life if diagnosed soon. Okay, uh, when we want to talk about the medicine. 
there is um, uh, there is medicine which affect which affects uh, which affects only for uh, the first stage, uh, which can minimize the damage from uh, the parasite. For example, uh, a me medicine for uh, medicine to uh, regulate heart bite and uh, medicine to control the stomach. Okay. Uh, but, but when we want to talk about the chronic uh, cr chronic stage, uh, it will n it will never stop the parasite in chronic stage. And now Celso will will present his uh, second part. Hi, my name is Celso. I will talk about the part two of this presentation about the Chagas disease. In this part two, we will we'll analyze the epidemic situation, a current epidemic situation uh, around the world. And then we will create a perfect scenario to have a pandemic situation all over the world. First, we need to talk about the Brazilian outbreak breaks on the earlier 20th century. This outbreak is very important because people didn't owe, didn't have many clues about the disease. On a few people that have a disease, people like Carlos Chagas or, or, or Oswaldo Cruz. That's why we have the name of the. That's why we have the name of the parasite, Trypanosoma crucis. Those, those, those two people was the people who associated the parasite, the bug infection, and the symptoms from the disease. So we can imagine that most of the cases in the epidemic epidemic countries, most of the cases. They are located in the Southern America and Central America. The non-epidemic non country, countries are United States and Spain, may, may, mainly because of the immigrations. With all these, these conditions, we can, see, we can see clear that we, we can have a pandemic scenario easily with all these in ingredients. Next, we analyze the pandemic scenario and the contaminant solution to this disease. In order to have the, con the perfect the pandemic scenario, we need two mainly ingredients. First, we need a worldwide vector, and then we need uh, a perfect parasite with a perfect strain. A worldwide vector can be a bug or fruits. Bugs, because uh, many scientists now believe that if we had a, if if the with the global warming, many bugs will reach another climate. We, I'm, what I'm trying to say is that the the bugs from tropical areas probably will reach temperate areas, country like Europe, Asia, or even North America will be easily reached by a kissing bug. That can create that can create in expand of the disease the vector will be larger area second the fruits fruits many scientists now believe that disease is possible to transmit orally if the bugs if if the human cons cons consume orally the fecal material from infected bug it's clear nowadays that the human can be contaminated so we now we know that South America is the one of the world's largest fruit exporter in the world. So that one can be a big problem. And to finalize all the, the, the main ingredients, we need to have a perfect, perfect parasite with the perfect strain. Many scientists believe that uh, the symptoms of the disease variate between the patients mainly because of the different type of the parasite. Some parasites are more stronger than others. That's what makes, that's what makes some of the, uh, some, some, some patients have, uh, have the symptoms different than other patients. So if we, if we have a perfect, if we develop a, per, a, a stronger, a stronger parasite, we can have we can have a uh, most dangerous disease and more more deadly disease. And this virus needs to develop a resistance, a very resistance. It's not very hard to do that, 
because uh, we have few medicines to 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 manage the disease. We don't have any cure yet, so we have medicine to manage the disease. Easily, the parasite can gain resistance against this medicine, so that will be our worst case scenario. The disease can can reach the world with a with a, with this new vector associated with the food, and this new parasite, the stronger one, will kill, and most of the medicine will not be effective. Easily, the deaths around the world, the contamination around the world, will reach hundreds of a million. Now, next, we analyze the contamination solution. The contamination solution, we need to prevent these two things. We need to divide into two, two parts, the developed countries and less developed countries. In the less developed countries, we need to have animal control. We need to control the, the, the bug around, the, around this country. We need to try to kill the same process we did for malaria, we did from, from rats. We try to control the bug kissing around the world. In countries more developed, uh, we need to be aware of the fruits. We need to eliminate this exportation of the fruits. We need to be aware, we need to management, we need to uh, check better these fruits. So all this scenario can be contained. If that, that containment will work, that's, who, that's a big question. But that's the only way, and the scientists must work to find the perfect, the, to find the cure for that disease during that time. So that's all. Uh, that's all about the disease. That's all about the scenario. I'm Celso Oliveira. I present the part two of the job. Thank you very much for watching.